morning, gang. We are at Disney Springs, and I haven't had anything to eat yet. And I'm starving. I've never like tried vlogging before eating. I wouldn't recommend it. But the reason why I haven't ate yet is because we have an advanced dining reservation at Raglan Road for brunch. I guess you can have fish and chips for breakfast. Why not? We're gonna meet up with some friends and gonna have a really good time. It's based off our name. making me really hungry. I could just eat this t-shirt. And since it's not quite time for the reservation yet, I got here a little bit early. I want to go check out the new World of Disney. I'm sure some of you guys have seen it more recently than I have, but I have not seen any of the new, you know, spiffiness that they added to it. So I'm super pumped to see. Wow, so even as I step in, everything seems different to me. The kind of brick, old school look with like the vintage lettering on the wall. And there's a giant Dole Whip and a Dole Whip projection on the ground. At first when everyone was making like a really big fuss about the store opening, I'm like, it's another store. They just want your money. But I get it because it's not just a store. Like it truly is an experience and I just stepped in. limited release. It is a Mickey and Minnie collectible doll set, but it is the very, very old school. Oh, I love those. I at least need to know how much that is so I can put it on my Christmas list. They are $90 for both of them. I think those are phenomenal. I love them. In all their advertisements for the store, they always used to say, the world's largest Disney store. And I was like, that's just something like they say because it's their brand, but the way that they've now relayed this out, I believe them. It is huge. I, I, I'm overwhelmed. I feel like I'm in like the Forever 21 of Disney. I do not need any more coffee mugs. I do not need any more coffee mugs. Walk away. Walk away. If you get lost at Disney Springs as easy as I do, if you're trying to find Raglan Road, there's a really easy way to do it. Just follow your nose to the fish and chips. <laughs> Perfect. It's not time to get one of these. I have to eat first or I'll be on one of these. We got a really good seat and the friends made it. It's the wonderful world of Walter. And there's the famous star himself, Walter, with his pencil. <laughs> so here is the brunch menu and they only have it on Sundays. So you better get here if you want something a little extra special, Irish breakfast, and of course, boozy brunch beverages. So I just asked for a regular mimosa. Mark, what did you get? Uh, that is strawberry field. Strawberry mimosa. Fields Mimosa and Irene. This is the strawberry lime hard cider. Yum. Really so lots of strawberries. I also have a strawberry in there. Wally, what did you get to drink? What'd you get? Milk. <gasps> oh. Milk. Look at this appetizer, you guys. I guess it's called the Dolky Duo. And I just like the presentation, but it's fried sausages. Whoa. They're like a bunch of dingle hoppers. <laughs> it's a dingle hopper. Food has arrived. 
I got, they have a fancy name for it. It's like the Anglo-Irish, but it's just Eggs Benedict. Look at all this food. to the brim. I think we just want a few more beverages, so into the Coke store we go. So on this very top floor of the Coke store, you can get little frozen beverages, some Jack and Coke, Pretty fun, and you really can't beat the view. It is gorgeous. And I think me and Irene, we are going to try to split Beverly's Revenge. Gin, blackberry liquor, cherry syrup, mint sprig, and orange slices. And yes, it is the Beverly that you're thinking of, the one that's at Club Pool in Epcot. So this should be interesting or awful. We'll find out. Did Irene get enough drinks? Yeah, I don't really think so. Thirsty. <laughs> I can't believe I've never been here before. I'm such a Coca-Cola addict. My whole kitchen is like Coca-Cola themed. So I'm pumped right now. Let's try these sodas. Actually, this is okay, this one's from Madagascar. So I'm just noticing that this one has a little <laughs> extra friend in it for extra flavor. Should I go get a replacement? No. no. It's Spanish extra protein. One. Yeah, it's good. This one's actually okay. really good. The tan you like the Tanzania this really one? Good, yeah. This is so cool. Classic Beverly before we try the newfangled. We know what this tastes like. We know what we're getting into. Oh, it's so, so disgusting. Good. Bottoms up. Not good. I hope Beverly's Revenge brings revenge onto this. Time for Beverly's Revenge. Irene's gonna try it first in all of its glory. It looks beautiful. I don't yes. know if it's gonna taste beautiful. All right, let's see. Wow, that really is Beverly's French, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I did not like that I let her go first because now I don't want to try it. And there's a whole drink of it. It looks beautiful though. No, 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 no. It's really bad. Seriously, I almost threw up. <laughs> The only thing that makes it mildly better is the ice. Yeah. Like that it's colder. But hey, I guess if you're a sucker for punishment, like go ahead and get this drink. The worst part was I wasn't vlogging, so now we gotta do it again. Uh, no! <laughs> Saying goodbye to the whole crew. You guys, check out their link in the description. They are just awesome people. We are leaving Disney Springs right now. It was so nice to see those guys, and it was so nice to get to do some new things at the Springs. The brunch at Raglan Road, absolutely amazing. Definitely suggest it. And then doing that Coke experience was really the Coke experience, Coca-Cola experience was absolutely so much fun and just beautiful sight. Great place to chill up there. Peace, love, and positivity, guys. All the good things. Bye.